Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. This week on the podcast, we're going to respond to a post over on Drupal.org that I got involved with a little bit, and it was regarding Views Slideshow Module. Now, this episode, you know, it's going to use and show Views Slideshow, but that's not really the goal. I'm going to show you a couple little tips and tricks that you might not have known that you could do with Views, as well as a CSS trick. Uh, to style a slideshow or you can use it anywhere else uh, uh, as well. Uh, that has to do with transparency and um, making kind of a cool layout. So uh, we're going to dive right in today. We're going to look at Views Slideshow and I'm going to show you uh, how exactly you can uh, style things in a way that people were asking about. So uh, here's Views Slideshow module, uh, drupal.org slash project slash Views Slideshow, of course. Uh, and this is the module we're going to use uh, to do our layout today. Uh, but the issue that started this whole idea uh, was drupal.org slash node slash 620348. And they were asking a question about doing a slideshow with text uh, overlaying on top of it. And I got involved here. And as I scroll down here, you'll see that I actually went ahead and posted the slideshow uh, from one of the sites that I've done, uh, the CSS, to make this thing happen. So let's look at uh, the, the actual implementation of this. It's this slideshow right here. And basically what they were talking about um, is the ability to lay out your text over the top of your slideshow like this um, with some background transparency. So that's what we're going to show today because it gets a little hairy if you try and do it. Um, and I'm going to show you just how we're going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to show you is we just have a content type called banner and the only custom CCK field on it is an image because it's just going to be a, a banner that we're going to show in the slideshow. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, let me just show you, I've got uh, some content created. It's just a bunch of dog stuff. Uh, each node just has a title, a description, and an image. And you can see they're all uh, different sizes, so we're using image cache to resize them. I'm going to assume you know how to use image cache at this point. So let's build a view that is a carousel or a slideshow. I'm just going to add a new view. Let's be called slideshow. It's a node view, and I'm going to limit it to uh, four items. Now this is going to be the number of items that will actually show up uh, in the carousel. Not all at once, uh, but one at a time. How many total do you want to be in there? So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to add some fields for my slideshow and actually to start with the only field I'm going to add is the image. And like I said, I'm going to use image cache to size it. I'll update that. Uh, now for my style, I'm going to choose slideshow. And then I have all my options here. Now, just a special note, let me go back and look at the modules page for this. There are two modules that ship with Views slideshow. And they basically do two different layouts. So we have View Slideshow. We have View Slideshow Single Frame. That's what we're using today. And View Slideshow Thumbnail Hover. I haven't really used this one before. Um, I played with it a little bit, but I don't remember much about it. I usually use the Single Frame. So you have to enable one of those uh, to lay out your slideshow. And so in our options here, um, I want Single Frame. That's my only option. Timer Delay. This is how long between slides. Uh, offset delay, speed, there's just a bunch of stuff you can set in here. Uh, one of the things that I want to do uh, is to show a pager. And a pager is all of the uh, other images in the um, slideshow. So I could use a numbered pager. <clears throat> I'm actually going to use thumbnails of my images. Um, so I don't want anything else. You can play with these settings. Uh, do what you want with them. And uh, so that being done, I'm going to add a page. And on that page, I'm going to give it a path. Just called slideshow. And I'm going to save. So if I go to that page now, here's my slideshow just sort of as it exists outside the box. So you can see. Um, that it used image cache, it resized these, it's using the thumbnails, we can hover over them. Uh, now, on the site that I showed you earlier, I took just took these uh, thumbnails and I used CSS to position them over here instead of on the side. Uh, real simple to do. So now let's get into the tricky part that everyone wanted to know about. We want to overlay that text uh, and uh, get it to work real nice. So I'm going to add some more fields. And the fields that I'm going to add 
are going to be a link to the node because I'm going to have like a more link, uh, the title, and the teaser. I'm going to add those three. I don't want labels on any of them. Okay, so I've set up my fields. Now, here's the important thing. The ordering of these fields is important because we're going to do something a little bit tricky. Uh, we are going to uh, leave the teaser last. Now, uh, it could be any of these fields, but we're going to use the teaser. And uh, we're going to use a little setting in views called um, exclude this field. So I'm going to update that. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my node link and I'm going to choose exclude from display. This means that it's actually not going to show up on my display by default. I'll show you why in a minute. We're going to do the same thing with title. And now in the teaser, this is where the magic happens. We're going to rewrite the output of this teaser field. This means that we can do whatever we want uh, and spit it out into this teaser field. Uh, so uh, to get that transparency, uh, here's the problem with, with doing transparency behind text. Let's say we had that, that uh, darker colored div behind the text, and we want that transparency set with CSS to maybe be 70% or something, but we want the text on top of it uh, to be 100%. Now, by default, the text is going to inherit that transparency. An easy way around that is to make the div that has the transparency outside of the div that has all of the content. So that's what we're going to do here is I'm going to just create a div with an ID of transparency. If I can spell it. And I'm going to put nothing in it. Then I'm going to have another div, and it's going to be my content. And inside this my content div is going to be all of my field content. Now, if you look down here for these replacements, you can see all the fields that I hid before, I can now print out manually in here. So I'm going to wrap my title in an H2. I'm going to then put in the teaser. And uh, then the read more link, which is you know it. So I'm going to, hopefully that's right, I'm going to update my display and I'm going to save it. Okay, so now you can see what's happening. Now we're getting a little closer. We have our image and here's our title our teaser, and our uh, read more link. And you can see that each one is showing for that. So what we want to do is we want to get that on top of this div. So now it's time to uh, simply do the CSS. So let's first uh, do the transparency. So let's look at the width of our image, which is 500. And actually the first thing we want to do um, is back out here a little bit. Uh, we're going to position things uh, using position absolute. This allows us to remove it from the flow of the content in CSS <clears throat> or in the HTML and place it exactly where we want it. I'm not usually a fan of this, but this is a perfect example of where it's really useful. Uh, but the problem is to use position absolute, anything that's positioned absolutely has to be within a container that is positioned uh, some other way, relatively whatever. So we're actually going to set position relative on the outside of the container and then we're going to uh, use uh, position absolute on our all of our other content to position it over the top of uh, where we want it to be. So uh, I'm going to look at uh, this div ID, view slideshow single frame teaser selection one. This is going to be our whole uh, slideshow container, and I'm just going to set its posi position to relative. Now, if I set its position to relative and don't do top or bottom or anything else, it doesn't change anything. All it does is make sure that we have we can position other things absolutely inside of it. So now look, let's look at our uh, code, and we have our transparency div here. So I'm going to now position this transparency div absolutely, and I'm going to put it at the bottom and the left zero picks. So it's um, it's at the bottom of the image, and it's all the way to the left of the image. Now I need to set its width to 500 pixels, and I need to set its height to uh, the 500 pixels of the width of the image. Our height could be, I don't know, maybe 175 pixels. And then I'll set a background color. Let's refresh and hope that that worked. 
Um, it didn't because we still have our text down there. Uh, so let's uh, do our text next, and I'll show you what's going on here in a minute. So we're going to take our my content div. We're also going to position that absolutely. And we're going to put that within f uh, five pixels of, or, you know, uh, close to the bottom. So we're going to put, uh, you know, maybe, um, you know, 100, 150 pixels from the bottom. And we're going to put it 10 pixels from the left. So if we refresh this, now we're getting somewhere. So our uh, image is here, and we have our transparent or our uh, background over the top. And so let's, uh, this background's way too high. So let's set it to 125, possibly going to go down to 100. That looks a little bit better. And now we can set transparency on this using uh, CSS. Uh, now I have my transparency uh, cheater here. Uh, it does a filter, opacity, and um, the Mozilla opacity. Three different kinds of uh, transparency. And I'm going to refresh that. And something's still not working. Let's uh, take a look to see why this isn't working. Well, I killed it with my CSS. Let's try again. Okay, so now let's... Um, Let's figure out where exactly the rest of our text should go. Getting closer. I could have looked at the height of the image, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so that gets us most of the way there. <clears throat> so you can see now that we've got our transparency, which is in a separate div called transparency, and it's sitting behind our image or behind our other text. Now we're positioning that absolutely. We're positioning the text absolutely. And now from here, you can basically just keep styling. Um, it looks like we're off a little bit on the, on the alignment here. You know, we can fix that. We can change these colors, you know, maybe so all the text is white. Um, you know, we can do a lot of stuff to, to pretty this up. But this is the, the main um, idea here, that what we're going to do is to get this stuff to lay out properly, the first thing we have to do is get our transparency and our content into two separate divs. We do that by using the rewrite the output and just manually printing our fields. Now, uh, a note, you can do this in views theming as well if you wanted to. Create a views template, do it in a TPL file. Uh, I find it a little easier to do it here. Um, so we're uh, letting content, the image display, we're hiding these other fields using exclude, and then we're printing them all into the node teaser. And the key is that this transparency is separate, a separate div from our content div. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it was helpful, maybe. Kind of a lot of random stuff in that one. Uh, but hopefully you saw Luke a lot of cool little things. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You could do that. Uh, look at mustardseedmedia.com in the top right corner and click one of those links. We would love to hear your suggestions. This episode was actually a suggestion we got over on Facebook. So uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you next time on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. <laughs>